guys, and welcome back to another episode of um, uh, Tips and Tricks for M Creator. It's a little tutorial series I'm working on. What we're going to do is make a couple different models, maybe a different height, and um, then what we're going to do is basically bring it into um, uh, M Creator and make sure that we can kind of tweak it a little bit, get it prepped for a biome. All right, so now that we have a couple different varieties of trees, we can start working on uh, getting the um, structure voids and everything set up. So I'm gonna go over, assuming it's on the same corner, yep. And we're gonna go over here, and let's say probably about, copy this because we need to remove that block, and we can paste this in, and we will just double check. Um, no, it's not what I wanted. Show invisible blocks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so all our structure voids are in place. Uh, we can save this as... And now this one's a little bit bigger. Um, the other one went out two blocks. This one goes out three blocks. So we'll have to keep that in mind when we're actually bringing this into the uh, program. We wanted, so we're gonna import maple tree one and maple tree two. So when we have that all sorted out, what we can do is uh, create a new block, but before we do that, we need to import a texture. Friday's tutorial maybe, yep, there we go. Uh, sapling, and then we are going to import it as a block, and then what we're gonna do is go to block, uh, call it maple sapling, create a new thing. Uh, we're going to select a cross model texture. We're going to select this one right down here for our um, our sapling. We want this to be on translucent. Uh, this needs to be enabled and um, for the height this should be perfectly fine the way it is. And then what we want to do is go over here set this to plants and if we had a creative tab we would put it under that but we're going to put this under um, decorations and uh, we're going to quickly look up sapling we'll go back to procedures and then we want a update tick and we're going to set this to a uh, so i'm just going to set this to zero point actually we're just going to set this to one and we're going to add a um, another mbt variable so we're going to set this we're going to set the name to um, timer um, grow and then we're going to set that to the same thing here and then what we want to do is uh, we'll go and grab one of these. I'll set it to greater than. And then what we want to do is go back to block. We can actually just grab the uh, variable here. And then we will put that in here if it's greater than, and then how many seconds we want it to basically test for. So if we want it to be uh, greater than one minute, so then we will set this to 60. And if it's uh, this timer is greater than 60, then do something. So first thing that we're gonna actually have to do is make sure that we can reset the timer when this is true. So we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna set this to zero. And that's gonna basically, when this is at the maximum amount, then it's gonna set it to zero and then it's gonna so once we have that, we can play around with whatever we want. So I'm gonna actually add a, another if statement. It's gonna be an if and else statement. And we're going to duplicate this uh, two times so that we can put a randomized procedure in here. And what I want to do is go here, grab that, place that down. If it's greater than, and then we're going to grab the randomizer number and then we're going to say if it's greater than 0 0.33 so that's a uh, one third of a chance or no two thirds of a chance then it will do this 
If not, then we'll do that. So that should be good. We're gonna put our big tree here and then we're gonna put our uh, two smaller trees here. So for that, what we need to go to is world and then we need to find uh, place structure. So the schematic and this one needs to be offsetted. Uh, we're actually gonna duplicate that before I forget and set this to 0 0.5. So that's a 50-50 uh, chance so um, either or so this is our first structure that's a small one we need to offset the X and Z coordinates to um, minus 2 so grab that Oop. And put that in here minus or two so minus two and then we're going to duplicate this two times and we're going to put that here and then we're going to put that there and then we're going to do the same for this one so now we got that in we want to um do this why is that missing dis dependencies okay um hold on a second what going on here uh, world entity what's entity oh we got the wrong uh, MBT timer okay we'll fix that up quickly so we're supposed to be using the block timer not the entity one or MBT data so we'll just fix this up really quickly it won't take too much time. Uh, yeah, so be careful what um, MBT takes that you grab. You need the block ones, not the um, not the uh, entity ones, or it will not have the right dependencies. So we want to set that to one. We're going to set this to the same tag. Place that up here. We then need to go and remove this. All right, so now that we got that fixed, uh, we can put it in the update timer uh, or tick. Yeah, update tick. So uh, we can put that there as long as we're using the block um, uh, MBT tags. So once that's done, uh, we can basically work on something else probably um, not next week because I'm going to be starting a four week uh, series on Monday or not Mondays, Tuesdays and Fridays for um, how to make a village. So that's gonna be an interesting project to work on. Uh, it's taken some time to figure out, but we'll be working on that for uh, about eight episodes, I believe. So hopefully you guys will tune in for that as well. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, peace out. <laughs>